right, let's get straight into it. Now, as you know, First Lady Melania Trump re-emerged the other day after a three-week absence from the public eye. Well, this morning, President Trump took offence to the way the media discussed her absence, tweeting, the fake news media has been so unfair and vicious to my wife and our great First Lady Melania. Donald Trump doesn't want the media to be unfair and vicious towards his wife, <laughs> especially after all she's gone through, what with him paying all the hush money and the sex... <laughs> With all the porn stars, I mean, God forbid, anything should upset her, you know? <laughs> he then continued, four reporters spotted Melania in the White House last week, walking merrily along to a meeting. <laughs> they never reported the sighting because it would hurt the sick narrative that she was living in a different part of the world, was really ill or whatever. <laughs> Fake news is really bad. <laughs> Try that Melania was spotted walking merrily along to a meeting, <laughs> which is absolute proof that this never happened. <laughs> Nobody has ever been like, what's that? A meeting? Oh, I'm just giddy <laughs> and joy. In other White House news, after Trump disinvited the Philadelphia Eagles from their White House visit, he held a replacement event to celebrate American patriotism and to demonstrate his patriotism, he sang along to God Bless America. <laughs> or did he? Take a look. <laughs> I like that he just gives up on it. He's trying. <laughs> so you can now add God Bless America to the list of things where Trump doesn't know the words, right next to United States Constitution and wedding vows. <laughs> to think the only song Trump knows all the words to is but up but but ba I'm loving it. <laughs> Moving on, we had to show you this in an odd moment during an interview on CNN this morning. White House advisor Kellyanne Conway appeared to misspeak when referring to President Trump as the Commander-in-Chief. Take a look. And the problem with the President of the United States and the Commander-in-Chief chief expressing <laughs> that opinion... <laughs> she said Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder Donald Trump always looks constipated. I mean, <laughs> she misspoke. To be clear, he's not the commander of cheese. But here's my question. My question is, is that a real position? And if so, do you have to be American-born to hold that office? Because I'm interested. I would crush being commander of cheese. <laughs> Some international news for you. IHOP, the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> and now... <laughs> it's true. The International House of Pancakes announced this week that they plan to change their name to IHOB with a B. But they won't announce what the B stands for until next week. <laughs> Let me go. I think the B stands for bad idea. Is this a bad idea? <laughs> Yeah, you're getting rid of the part that stands for pancakes. <laughs> if you're going to get rid of anything, lose the international part. It's false <laughs> advertising. I'm from another country. Trust me, no one knows what IHOP is. <laughs> it's the least international brand of all time. <laughs> when Donald Trump heard about this, he was like, wait, they're getting rid of the P? The P's the best part. I love P. <laughs> He loves pancakes. I don't know why you guys are getting so excited. <laughs> and finally, we had to tell you about this. A man has been arrested after stealing a military tank and taking police on a two-hour joyride through the streets of Virginia. Take a look. <laughs> Tanks had such good gas mileage. <laughs> now, obviously, this is a crime and it's a bad thing to do, but in my defense, it was our best episode of Carpool Karaoke today. <laughs> You're gonna love it.